all doing? I hope you're all fine. I am fine too, I thank God. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for taking your time to watch my videos. I really appreciate much and God bless you. But if you're new here, please do not leave this channel without subscribing because in this channel, like the intro says, I do fashion, I do relationships, I do life experiences in general, guys. You are going to enjoy my content. So subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So guys, if someone could have asked me if there is a day that I could do such a video in my channel, I could tell that person no. But guess what, guys? Life is full of surprises. <laughs> And that is why today I'm here to tell you this story. I don't know if it is going to make you sad or it's going to make you happy. I don't know. But what I am very sure is that you're going to learn a lot from this story that I'm going to be telling you today. So guys, today's story is about me and a Chinese lady. <laughs> and to make everything clear, guys, I don't have anything against Chinese people not at all it's because for me i think all people are equal before god and i'm also a very positive person that it is so difficult to offend me because i see positivity in everything even if something is like fishy or shady i try to see the positive side of it I don't want to look on the negative side. I'm like that. That's how I am, guys. And I also used to think that, I used to think that Chinese are very peaceful. They like peace. They are very quiet. And one thing I was so sure is that if you want war with a Chinese, you will get war. <laughs> but without making a war with them, without doing something to irritate them, they will never do anything to you because they are so cool, they are so quiet. They are like that. This story really, really shocked me. <laughs> I could have never imagined that a Chinese lady could do such a thing to me. So let me start this story right now. So guys, it all started when I ordered a dress online and when that dress arrived it was a little bit big here on the chest side so i had to think of taking it to a tailor to adjust it because there was no way i was going to put on that dress i took measurements and everything then ordered that dress but unfortunately it arrived like that i had no option guys <laughs> and that dress was so important to me there was a very important party that i was supposed to attend so i had no option like i said then i talked to my husband he told me that don't worry i know a chinese tailor who is so good she will adjust that dress very nicely and at an affordable price so we agreed and we went to that chinese tailor when we arrived you know i speak italian not so much but i speak italian but <laughs> I had to go with my husband because Chinese too speaks Italian. The ones that I have come encounter with, they speak Italian. But me who speaks Italian, not so good Italian. And the Chinese who speaks Italian, not so good Italian. When we talk, <laughs> it was going to be very difficult for us to understand each other. So when we arrived, I told my husband, let's go together so that you can talk to this lady and help me out if a misunderstanding happens. And when we entered her store, she told my husband like, <laughs> go out. So for us, it was normal. We thought maybe because of this COVID thing, uh, that is why maybe one person should enter in a store. <laughs> but my husband is like, but we are family. It's me, the kid and you. <laughs> and the baby was on the stroller. So my husband went out and I asked this lady, where is the changing room? So this lady told me, go there. So I went, I changed and <laughs> I had to put on that dress that I wanted her to adjust. But she never asked if I wanted help, never. She continued doing 
whatever she was doing when i finished putting on that dress i had to go so that she can check where to adjust so she also came to me and this is where the drama started <laughs> so this chinese lady i'm going to do like this this finger i'm not offending you guys so she was doing like this do you see guys mm -mm. This dress is too small for your size. You're very fat. She was touching, she was touching me with her fingers like this. These fingers. Mm. Let me see. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm making making some faces. Like something that you don't want to touch. That is the feeling that I felt. Something that is maybe dirty, you don't want to touch that thing, but you have no option, you have to touch that thing. Uh, I can't adjust it. There is nothing can be done to this dress. Guys, I started marketing like I told you guys. <laughs> the little understanding, the little knowledge that I have <laughs> is that you can never tell a client that she is fat. That was a very big offense. I got offended and I was a bit frustrated because <laughs> I bought that dress very expensively and I took measurements. Everything was okay. The only problem was here. Then she's telling me she cannot do anything to this dress. The dress is too small for my size. I am fat. And she's touching me like this. <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing guys <laughs> I got very angry guys very angry I changed the dress and I left her store so when I reached outside I told my husband what had happened the husband was like this Chinese is showing very strange characters today. Why? I've been coming here for years. <laughs> How comes today she's doing like this? Why? Then I told her she was touching me like this, like she did not want even to touch me. She did not want even to touch my dress, guys. She did not want. I'm not here to maybe exaggerate things or make this lady look bad but i'm telling you guys exactly what happened how could you have felt tell me how could you have felt tell me if bella is exaggerating guys so then we then we went to the car and i remembered i had forgotten my bag handbag <laughs> you know it's a sh ladies essentials <laughs> i can't go out without a handbag or a purse so i had a handbag so i had forgotten it i had forgotten it in the changing room so i had to go back and when i entered the store there was another client and this client was an italian lady the show that i saw there she was smiling she was talking so good with this italian lady she was not the same woman or the same chinese lady that attended to me so i told her i had forgotten my bag then she told me <laughs> i went and i picked my bag then i had to go but it was a very bad experience and it was the first time here in italy in four years that i felt being discriminated that i felt someone being a racist Something that I was always saying that it's not true, these things, no, 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 no. But this Chinese lady showed me that. It's so sad, guys. It's so sad. And if it hasn't happened to you, you will not understand the feeling, guys. You will not. But once it happens to you, you will understand the feeling. <laughs> like the one that I got. So afterwards, guys, to end the story, we went to the other tailor and this tailor was a Russian lady. 
then when we entered she was smiling then we told her about the dress she told me do you do you need help like i expected <laughs> i told her no so i went and changed and when i came she checked very well the dress but i asked her one question because <laughs> i was still in a confusion like is it me and my husband who is seeing that the dress is fitting well only the problem is here oh what is it so i asked this russian lady russian tailor that uh, what do you think by me putting on this dress without you uh, making any adjustment do you think this dress is too small for me or it doesn't fit well then this russian lady told me no it fits so perfectly perfectly <laughs> that's what this russian tailor told us and she adjusted the dress at a very unaffordable price Chinese lady drama ended but that was the experience and if you ask me do you hate Chinese after all this that happened to this lady or do you think Chinese are racist I will say no I don't think so I think this thing of this thing of racism and all that it depends with a person if a person is very ignorant that person is going to show all characters of racism but if someone isn't ignorant then you will never never <laughs> experience such a thing so i think it is all about someone's behavior not a country and it doesn't have to do with all people so i'm not going to blame all chinese no 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 no. i'm not going to do that i'm not going to do that because if i sit here and tell you all chinese are this all chinese are bad then i would be very very wrong what i think is that a person's behavior matters so much in the way maybe they grew up in the way they think their understanding <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> guys before i forget if anyone ever discriminates you or show you any characters of any signs of racism please ignore that person just ignore that person don't take what that person says to you into your heart it is going to hurt you for nothing <laughs> because that person is ignorant so just ignore that person and keep moving concentrate on yourself and if it is that day then that day will end tomorrow will come it's a new day thank you so much guys for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it so please if you have enjoyed it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you, that you think will enjoy this video watch my other videos too they are so good Comment below what you think about this video, if you think I exaggerated or not. <laughs> I would like to know. Watch my other videos too. I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.